I know this channel often seems like a lot of doom and gloom when it comes to steel boat ownership. The whole f***ing skeg's moved. Oh no. But not everyone has as horrible of luck when it comes to finding holes in their steel boat. Some people in fact find beautiful, immaculately kept steel hulls that they have to do minimal work to. I found one of those boats and decided to go visit it and its owners to get a better idea of what it looks like to own a different steel boat and what you might find if you're searching for your own. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. All right, so today I am on Sappho, which is a steel boat, but not our steel boat. So this boat is owned by Melissa and Kales, and their adorable puppy. He is so cute. And they are in Nanaimo right now, so I thought I would come check out their boat because they bought this boat about a year after we bought ours and have had not nearly as many problems as we've had, even though it's steel. It's got a really interesting layout, um, very different, but I will let them tell you more about that and why they bought this boat and what their goal is on their steel boat. Here are our, our <laughs> lovely boat owners. Hello. But yeah, you'd like a little tour? Yes, please. So currently you're standing in the galley and I guess our dinette. It's pretty open. Maybe not the most seaworthy layout per se. We need a few more handholds, but it's very airy. Down here is our like salon, like couch area. Yeah, I know. So gusty, so gusty today. today. Yeah, Gail impending. <laughs> <laughs> we have another seat over here, but we always have stuff on it. Um, That's where the laundry then, goes. Yeah, and this is all of Marlo's collection. <laughs> is there a whole other cubby space back here? Yeah, oh, yeah. so. Look at that. Yeah, and then there's storage like in the seats, of course, little bookshelves. And here's our head. Um, I don't know if you want to go in there or not. I don't know, it probably looks like every other one. Yeah, maybe. probably. It's actually really weird. Yeah, it's a weird oh, one. It's all like, fiberglass. Yeah. You have yeah. a tub? We have a tub. You have a tub? Yeah. <laughs> It's a very little tub. Oh my god, in like this super cute yeah. little basin. Yeah, that is currently not a tub. <laughs> oh <no. laughs> okay, well, it looks really part. cool. And then so, yeah, composting. composting toilet. And then up here is our bedroom um, with kind of like an offset V-birth, Pullman birth kind of idea and some closet space and through there is the like anchor and rope locker. Oh so, so you have access to your locker? Yeah from, from above inside. and inside. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah lots cool. of room in there. Yep. Yeah. And then there's more storage under the bed. And our like entire floor comes up. I don't know if you yeah. can see where it oh, yeah. Nice, yeah. You actually have proper access to your bilges. Like, yeah. 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 On a steel boat. Opens fully. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah behind all the cushions we have storage. Oh, yeah. And under here, mm -hmm. um, this actually folds in and like pushes in, so it's just a couch if you want it to be. But we like it as a yeah, yeah. kind of a lounge. It's an yeah. awesome it. spot to yeah. just chill out, mm -hmm. right? What do you think, sir? <laughs> do you agree? Oh, does that hand taste good? <laughs> it's all salty. Yeah, He's like, I just, I don't care. I just want you to pay attention to me. So why did you guys choose a steel boat? That's my first question. We were uh, talking about this last night, yeah. <laughs> and I feel like we didn't like go out looking for steel specifically um it's more so we found like this boat and found out like the reputation of water lines it's a water line 38 okay and that kind of more like cinched the the deal yeah and mm -hmm. just like we were looking in boats in in our price range and we went and looked at one and it just like everything was so dark and yeah. tight and yeah. i just I don't know, and then I seen pictures of this one. I don't nothing knew nothing about boats. Like I'm new to this whole thing, and I showed her, and I'm like, this one looks kind of cool. And, and I'm like, what on earth is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, how does it look like that? And yeah, you did some research yeah. on it, and we're like, well, we might as well just go look at it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know. He started showing us around and pulling everything apart, and the storage was crazy mm -hmm. and the access to the engine is oh, pretty good. crazy like you can get all around it yeah. yeah and like just being able to sit here and have dinner and look out the window was like a huge thing mm -hmm. I think yeah. for us too yeah. peace of mind wise like 
it still gives me anxiety, like docking and like you know tight maneuvering. But like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Like we're gonna destroy the dock. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So that's nice too. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely like more comfortable as far as just like the strength of the boat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I think we're like happy we did it also because I think our goals at the beginning were kind of like still a little bit like we want to go down to Mexico eventually or the Caribbean but just like being here even in the summer it's so hot yeah. and we're both kind of like let's go north <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, we might be like aiming for yeah. like Alaska, Haida Gwaii yeah. like that kind of stuff yeah. sooner <laughs> yeah which this would suit really well with a pilot house yeah. and all yes. that so I like I'm completely new to this whole thing I moved on to ruckus with no, her mm -hmm. um like two years ago mm -hmm. and before that I knew nothing about sailing like I don't think I even thought about a sailboat my whole life mm -hmm. until I met you yeah, sorry about that and, <laughs> yeah. Now you're like, stuck. yeah I the only experience I have on the ocean at all was my dad had a like aluminum fishing boat so we'd go out some weekends up in Prince Rupert but that was basically it mm -hmm. I don't know, something about like visiting her on the boat, I really liked it and I was like, fuck it, like, let's, just, <laughs> let's just try it and yeah. then, yeah, we've been <laughs> kind of yeah, on cruising boat since. since. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely like, like come from a background more sailing wise, like I grew up, my family would always have like be part of a co-op or like have like a 25 foot sailboat that like we would cruise around on as kids with like two golden retrievers just like packed in like oh sardines. God, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, and then... Um, I started sailing more seriously with my dad as a teenager and then eventually like bought Ruckus, um, lived on it for a few years and um, went around the island on my parents' boat and um, yeah, and then transitioned into this. So yeah, yeah I've been kind of like sailing, cruising my whole life. Are there any unique challenges that you guys have found so far with the steel boat compared to owning a fiberglass boat previously? I feel like it's like an entirely new learning curve. Yeah. Yeah, like where before, like I feel like over several years, I like accumulated skills and like I understood things and like I'm like, yeah, cool, I like kind of know what I'm doing. And then I got to the steel boat and we hauled it out immediately yeah. um, just to like redo the bottom paint and what have you. And I'm like, well, everything I know is out the window. <laughs> so it was like a lot of like mad researching and stuff. Yeah. Um, but. And I feel like, like, there was a couple places on the bottom where there was steel showing. Well, like because we been, sanded it back. Yeah, and we're like, oh no, like, what do we do? What do we need to put on it? Yeah. How do we need to treat it? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but otherwise I feel like, um, for the most part, it's a lot of the skills are transferable. You just have to like put more thought into it and be more like, kind of like type A yeah. <laughs> about it. Like you have to be checking your bilge and like looking for rust and like dealing yeah. with it and stuff. So, yeah, be yeah. on your game all yeah. the time. Yeah, which I mean is probably good for any boat owner, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a little bit more dire I Yeah. Feel like on a steel boat. Yeah. yeah. So is there anything that you've found so far that you've been like, holy crap, this is like way out of the league that I thought I was going to be in with this boat and you've had to... Um, I think not so... The electrical, because it was like essentially just like dockside only, like there was nothing off-grid oh, right. about this, so I like turned it into, like completely redid the electrical system. Um, and that like took way longer weeks weeks and weeks yes. um, of like full-time work yeah. um, doing that but otherwise I feel like we were pretty aware everything always takes longer yeah. than you think it will sure. so, I feel like it's yeah. better anyway in the long run like this was kind of like a clean slate yeah. and now most the stuff that's in here like we had hands-on and put it in so now we have a better understanding of yeah, everything yeah. Like part. when something goes wrong, you're instantly yeah. like, oh, yeah, mm. I have to do this. That is like, one big thing that we're like, oh crap, um, our rig um, yeah. is like somewhat condemned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like no. the standing yeah. rigging, yeah, we didn't get oh, like okay. a rigging inspection as part of like the purchase, which we yeah. probably should have, but then again, I don't know if we could have bartered much lower of a price. Um, but we have been told probably don't go like 
past the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Like, don't cross it and don't go past Port Hardy. Until like, essentially rigged. just don't push yeah. the boat, like, crazy. So, this is a 1988 Waterline 38, um, built by Waterline Yachts in Sydney, BC, by Ed Rutherford and his yard at the time. Um, they have a pretty good reputation as Blue Water Cruisers, and the 38 is, like, the smallest, um, I believe, of kind of the line of their yachts. Um, many of them are, like, pilot houses. Um, they're all steel, and they all, from what I understand, kind of have, like, ca like custom or semi-custom interiors with a steel boat. You don't have, like, the bulkheads, really, so you can kind of just do what you want. For power, we have a Yanmar 4JHTE. Um, it's a 55 horse power turbo engine and it has about 420 hours on it, so very low, Pretty new, yeah. Yeah, which nice. is also another reason why we um, were aiming for this boat because um, I love a reliable diesel. <laughs> yeah, <no, no. laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's been good, it definitely powers really well. Yeah. Um, we cr like easily cruise like economically on fuel f between like five and a half, six knots, and yeah. we can get up to like seven and a half, like nice. you know, full if we need to. Don't actually oddly know a ton of the specs as far as like mast height or sail area displacement ratio because like I can't find it anywhere on the internet. <laughs> um, and this boat actually has a mast and rig from an entirely other boat that was oh. um, bought for it. So it's a crazy high mast with a huge long boom. Mm -hmm. I suspect it's a pretty high sail area to displacement. The main sail looks it's enormous. Just gigantic, yeah. We're gonna need to definitely like reef early. <laughs> when this yacht was built, um, they did something called flame spray zinc on the hull. So essentially it gets welded and then they do this coating and then they paint it. And like that's why I guess the metal is in such good yeah. Um, repair. Like we, when we first hauled it out, we didn't know what we were doing. Um, and we accidentally sanded down a couple spots to the metal and it was just like pristine. There's, as far as insulation goes, um, up like in here, the walls, I think it's mostly, um, spray foam, but then lower down, um, like in the bilges, there's like closed cell um, foam so it doesn't absorb any water and it'll just kind of okay. like wick it off. So it's pretty like fairly well insulated yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Um, a weird quirk is all the hatches are like facing backwards so we don't get a lot oh. of wind and it oh, gets no. so, so hot. So hot. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't like switched them yet. They're like embedded and like painted in hatches. <laughs> I refuse to go out next summer until those are switched. Yeah. We gotta switch them. So that's it's why so we bad. have like a wind scoop up yeah. all the time. And it's yeah. not even a wind scoop, it's a hammock. It's a hammock. We, like, oh, really? <laughs> Jimmy yeah. rig into a wind scoop. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So. This boat was originally supposed to be built for like um, an Alaskan fishing couple. But kind of a quirky couple ended up with it and they lived on the doll. They lived for, for like, like 20 years, I think, d like on the hard. That's why like there was no hard. Hard. Slowly building out the interior. Oh, wow. yeah. That's why there was so. no hours on the engine or yeah. anything. It no, the engine didn't... wasn't even in there yet. Yeah, it didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this boat hasn't been in the water for that long. <laughs> yeah, that's also why your steel's in such good shape. Yeah, yeah definitely. Lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> Give it another couple of years. No yeah. spots you found on the outside with rust or anything? No. Really? no. You're looking good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah, we've worn through the paint in a couple spots. We're going to have to um, recoat and deal with it before we leave for the winter. But yeah, so far, yeah. so good. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Yeah. Fish. Yeah, no yeah. patchwork. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need to look pretty. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm concerned a little about the water tanks. Oh yeah, there is because there is rust in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. a little yeah. bit, like in the corners up where water is not usually touching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... and the like our whole bottom here is a water tank basically from here to back there. Mm -hmm. So and there's four lids and they're all bolted down, but we can only get into the back two. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull the like cutlass bearing and like prop shaft yeah. and oh, to get everything to get to yeah. the other oh, two. Oh, that's yeah. annoying. But yeah. like we could see it because there's holes into yeah. each one. So mm -hmm. 
like looking in there you can see it but you can't reach it yeah. until we dig that out so, so that's something that we have not, to do eventually yeah, yeah i'm not looking forward to yeah do so how much water do you have total i don't know for sure yeah. no? <laughs> we don't have gauges that's and it's lot. like such a weird shape but we think we have around 400 or so liters okay yeah. so what well, about fuel tanks uh, 130 liters so yeah. not a ton of fuel um yeah, yeah, it's pretty small. For yeah, the yeah. Size of the yeah, that's why we so have, we have a lot of jerry cans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're Sapo at Sea um, on Instagram and YouTube yeah. and Facebook. Not that I really do anything really with the Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're very new to YouTube. We started back in February. Oh, yeah. We have no idea what we're doing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but, still, but I promise. Still learning to edit. So, yeah, if yeah, you. They're yeah. a little rocky, but yeah. Yeah. we're trying. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess the videos we'll be about to be posting will be cruising all over like Gulf Islands and Desolation Sound and stuff. So. This summer. Awesome. Yeah, better than our first season. It was mostly just like us working on the boat. Yeah. Which isn't as fun. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I don't know, people seem to enjoy watching yeah. others' misery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks for watching. I hope seeing someone else's steel boat experience has given you another perspective on steel. Head over to their YouTube channel, give them a follow, and some encouragement as they continue their sailing journey as well. As always, thanks so much to our patrons for sticking with us, and thank you to all of you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. See you next week.